Hey, hey, y'all, it's AP. And I, and I can't front, y'all, I can't put up a front. I was very disturbed on Thursday night when I sat down on my comfy couch and I got ready to watch some NFL football for the kickoff of the 2020 NFL season with the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Houston Texans. I was very disturbed at the beginning of the game when the players went to the middle of the field and tried to show a sign of solidarity by locking arms and the fans in attendance, the 12,000 to 15,000 fans, some of them were booing them, booing the players for trying to show unity. I mean, is racism really that serious? Do you really hate a group of people and unity that much? Is it really that serious? It's just like, what do you want us to do? You know, if we, you know, if we go about, you know, showing unity and showing that, you know, black lives matter one way, it's a problem. If we do it in another manner, it's a problem. Sometimes you just get to the point to where you think that no matter what, certain people or certain groups of people or individuals is just going to have a problem with you no matter what, whether it's because your hair is long, your hair is short, whether you're light skin or you're very dark skin or whether you're, 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 you're black or whether you happen to be Asian. They might blame something on you, a virus on you because you are, you're from this part of the world. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy and chaotic. Uh, the best example I can give is that, and it's just that, you know, we need to, things need to change. Um, we've been saying that for hundreds of years. Uh, you know, my people have been saying that for hundreds of years and I, and I pray and I hope things change, but it starts with ourselves. You know, I'm, you know, I, we have to check that man, that woman, that person in the mirror every single day. I know I have to as spiritually grounded as I think I am. I know I am. I feel in my heart, you know, I'm, I'm far away from that person that God wants me to be. I have to check that man in the mirror every single day. I sound like a Michael Jackson song, man in the mirror. What's going on? <laughs> but, and sometimes it starts with our own people and our own you know, race and our own, you know, whether man or woman, some, it just starts with our own people. Prime example, I went to the gym early in the morning a couple of days ago, and it was a black guy and a white guy talking. I happened to be masked up, had my mask on, looking straight forward, because I didn't want to speak to the white gentleman because he just, I was getting some negative energy from him previously from when I was in the gym. Not that he said anything to me, because trust, I would have been quick to correct him, no doubt. But I could just tell he was just one of them, one of them kind of people, you know what I'm saying? One of those, you know, Trump followers or, you know, one of those people that kind of might support him a little bit. So I keep my distance from individuals like that. But I was at, in line and going to the gym and it was this black gentleman that he was talking to. And the first, you know, one of the first things he said was, you know, they were talking about the football season getting ready to start this weekend. The NFL kickoff is tomorrow. They were talking about the Buffalo Bills getting ready to play. And uh, the Caucasian gentleman was like, yeah, I'm not with all of this kneeling stuff. You know, let's just let's just play the game. I'm not with all of that. And unfortunately, you know, the black guy that he was talking to didn't check him. The black man actually agreed with him. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Hulk Hogan, did he do what? Yeah, he actually did. I know y'all like what? Yeah, he did. The black guy actually agreed with him saying he was tired of the kneeling too and it needed to stop. And then for some reason out of nowhere, they got on the subject of LeBron James. And this is all within the two minutes of me standing in line waiting to walk into the gym at 5 a.m. They got into the subject of LeBron James and the white gentleman was like, yeah, what's up with LeBron James calling himself King James? The only king is the man upstairs. Uh -huh. And whatever, you know, and, and, and believe it or not, the black guy didn't check him. You know, the black man actually agreed with them. And, you know, it's not my, you know, I'm not the type of guy that's going to fight anyone's battles. Um, if you bring it to me, I'm going to bring it to you live and direct. You know, I'm not going to hop in somebody else's conversation. And, you know, especially when it has some to do with something that I know I'm going to get charged up about and I'm going to get very upset about and it might lead to, God forbid, something physical. I'm not going to even entertain that. But like I said, if you're coming directly towards me, then let's do it. Let's dance or whatever. But, you know, I'm not going to butt my you know, put my two cents in somebody else's business. But I thought it was just, you know, uh, amazing how that black gentleman let him basically talk down on his race and not, not check him. I don't know if they were friends. I don't know if they previously knew each other, but it just shows, goes to show me how weak sometimes our own people can be. 
and how we have to, like I said, start with that person in the mirror and check ourselves. Um, you know, I'm very, you know, for my race, I'm very for unity, um, not trying to divide whatsoever. You know, but I also know that we need to come to a point to where we have to stand up for ourselves. We can't allow, you know, not only our own, you know, race be against us, but we definitely can't let other people be against us. And, you know, it's just it's just one of those things where we just got to keep in mind of who we talking to, who we having conversations with. I'm very guarded. I don't let a lot of people in. It might seem like it like I do, but I don't. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I just want everybody to just, you know, like Rodney King said over 25 years ago, get along. Can we just get along? Because at the end of the day, it's not that serious. At the end of the day, I cut my arm, I'm going to bleed red. If you cut your arm, you know what I'm saying? You're going to bleed red, whether you white, black, Puerto Rican, Chinese, Russian, whatever you are. So let's just get back to the loving, you know what I'm saying? Because there's too much hatred out here. And I don't mean to get on a soapbox, but, you know, we got to get back to the loving. It's your boy AP.